1949 Lee Francis. It's a 14 light four model, this one. It's the 1800 petrol on the manual gearbox. Very, very pretty looking car. 1949, this one. Quite a rare thing as well, these Lee Francis. Beautiful looking car. Body wise, I'm going to start with the bonnet. We're going to work around onto the interior, and then I'm going to fire it into life. So straight up the bonnet itself, nice and tight up there. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous cream, this one. A few little marks on the front on that butterfly bonnet catch, which is pretty standard. But apart from that, all the tin work looks to be lovely. Across the uh, scuttle there. No corrosion coming through there. And down the bonnet, lovely and straight all the way down the bonnet there. A little bit of pitting on the bonnet handle, but how harsh do you want to be? And a little touch in there, but apart from that, lovely and straight. Grill's all nice and tidy there. A few little marks, but 1949 on that there. Lovely big headlights, all clear. No complaints with the chrome on the headlights. One or two very, very light pits, but again, you've got to have your nose touching the nose. So it's lovely and shiny all the way down. Across the front half of the wing, nice and tidy, all the way across there. Very, very presentable, this one. Ready for the shows, that's for sure. As you come round onto the right-hand side front wing, that lovely big wing. I've got no real complaints there at all. There's no corrosion coming through. With it being cream, you'd notice it from quite a way away, but that's not the case of this one. There's a few little stone chips here and there, but that's all you can really winter out on that front wing. Coming down the driver's door, suicide door to the front on this. Again, gorgeous panel work. Lovely and straight. Everything closes perfectly as well. One thing and away it goes. No slamming of the doors. No chips there. Lovely and tidy out the back edge and around the hinges. No complaints at all on the driver's door. Running boards are all nice and solid as well. You can stand on them. They're not going to fall off. Onto the rear door, right-hand side. Again, no complaints to that. Glass is lovely and clear as well. And up and across the roof, gorgeous body lines all the way across there. One or two little imperfections in the paint and a few light surface scratches where it's been washed over the years, but that's all the complaining you're going to get off me on the roof of that one there. Around the rear arch, just a little scuff there. Lovely and tidy. One or two little stone chip blebs at the bottom of the arch there. But again, lovely and straight all the way around. Lovely and tidy on that whole right-hand side. Chrome work on the back bump is gorgeous, no complaints there. Rear lights are all nice and clear. Even the housing for the number plate's nice and clear as well. No cracks or yellowness at all to that. Up that lovely big, big body line there, no complaints. Lovely and tidy around the rear window. It's a proper good looking car, this one. One or two little touch-ins on the side of the boot on the right-hand side. And again in the same place on the left-hand side, but apart from that, lovely and fresh across the back end there. Going round and down the left-hand side again, lovely and fresh down the... Rear quarter, lovely and straight. You can see how straight it is down both sides, this one. A few little stone chips on the bottom half of the wing there. One or two light scratches in the paint, but again, nothing too untoward at all. And a little bit of paint flick around the fuel filler cap, around the rubber. Rubber's a bit perished around that fuel filler cap. For a little crack of the paint by the rear door, left-hand side. And a few little stone chip blebs just coming through on the bottom of the arch there, on that left-hand side rear. Again, the door, lovely and fresh, lovely and straight on the door no complaints there at all again one thing in and it's closed not slamming anything not having to shut it twice front wing one or two little marks on that edge there on the back edge of the front wing on the left hand side but apart from that what a proper proper thing this is 1949 gorgeous instant interior now lovely colors on this with a dark brown interior it's a brownie red door cards lovely no rips no tears no real wear at all. The wood's all good as well. Seats, gorgeous condition. Really nice and soft. Not going to split on them when you sit on them. Really, really soft. Proper, proper thing, this. Steam wheel and dashboard's lovely as well. All the way across. Headlining. Again, rip-free, tear-free. Gorgeous dark. This is what the maroon carpet set with the brown inserts with the correct piping on the outside there as well. But again, it's closed. I'm not slamming anything into the rear Right hand side, door cart unmarked. Rear seats with the fold down armrest. Gorgeous carpet set in there. No complaints at all with that. Plenty of space for the picnic and the boot as well. You've got a starting hand on the jack there. Onto the left hand side, rear again, door cart, no complaints. Wood's lovely. Doesn't smell a damp or anything nasty at all in here. No complaints across. That there, really nice and tidy on the interior. Seats are so soft on this one. Carpet set, again. Oh, sorry, that's me there. Door cards, lovely. Carpet sets are really nice in this. Great, great colours in there. And again, the seats so soft. No rips, no splits, no tears. Dashboards, absolutely spot on as well. 
The tension to detail continues into the engine bay now. Have a good look at that. Lovely and clean and tidy in there. We're going to go around the carb side for Toby to fire it up. 1949 this one. Oh, that's how it's done. Into life there. Absolutely perfect, that. The very choke on it, though. A little bit of choke and it should fire straight into life. What a proper, proper thing this is. There you have it, the 1949 Lee Francis. 1800 petrol. Manual gearbox. Absolutely gorgeous, that one.